today I um I want to look into a video which is confusing me. It really is confusing me. And it's covering one of my favorite clips of all time. You know how gutted I was when um I saw I say that. You know, I was actually really gutted when somebody sent me a debunking video about the UFO plunging underwater, you know, on the boat. So somebody sent me a um, an email about the alien and the freezer video, okay? And this is what he says. Hey, Casper, absolutely love your channel, mate. The alien in the freezer guy is a fraud and it was all hoaxed. Even Art Bell would not have ha um, have him back in the show because he is proven to be lying. Ly <laughs> lying? Lying. Um, here is a video about it all. Uh, peace, brother. John. Well, thank you, John, very much, mate. However, your email confused me because I started looking at the beginning of the video and I'm like, hang on a second. This is debunking the debunk, right? So I don't know whether you watched the entire thing or... You've just seen a video and you've sent it to me. I'm not too sure. Unless I'm wrong, because I haven't watched the full thing yet. So we're going to watch the full thing. So if you don't know which video I'm on about, it was where I, I covered it the other day where a bloke goes into a forest. He's like hurting or something and he's, oh, and, ah, and he comes across this little mini black UFO and he finds an alien. He takes it home. He starts like looking at it and recording it. And then he records it screaming. And it, was, it was horrible. That scream was horrible, right? So that to me seemed so legit. I was just like, wow, man, this could be it. It was, I think it was in 1996, it was filmed or something like that. So I did myself a little bit of research on the internet, okay? And I came across this short um, overview of what happened, okay? The Reed case. The Reed case was an alleged encounter with an extraterrestrial being fabricated by John Bradley Rutter going under the alternate identity Dr. Jonathan Reed. The story became popular across the UFO and alien research community for many years, but was ultimately exposed as a hoax, right? Um, but is it? Because what the video I'm going to show you in a minute, mate, like I say, I've only seen the first five minutes, but it seems like it's debunking the debunk, right? So here's the story. In 1996, Jonathan Reed claims that the dog went missing one day. Reed went out into the woods near his home to see if he could find the dog. He went into the woods. He found a floating UFO in the shape of a spike. Reed went back into his uh, back inside to get his video camera and began filming the incident. He then saw the alien grab his dog by the jaws, snapping them apart. As a result, the dog turned to white ash, but this was never recorded on film. In retaliation, Reed took a tree branch and threw it at the alien, weakening it. Reed then brought the alien inside and tried to take a nap. Really? <laughs> You've just seen an alien, you take it home, you're having a nap? But found himself unable uh, due to the tension of the incident. Right, okay. Reed decided to uh, do an autopsy of the alien and film the alleged examination. Later, mysterious white vans arrived and took the alien and most of Reed's evidence. Exposed as a hoax. Right, okay. In 2010, episode... Right, so this is what we've, we're going to be looking at now. In 2010, episode of the series Fact or Faked Paranormal Files, the Fact or Fake team was able to duplicate the entire Reed video nearly shot to shot, since this did not entirely... Uh, eliminate the authenticity of Reed's original footage, the, te the team decided to do a voice stress test on Reed himself. The test ultimately proved that Reed was extremely deceptive about the incident. While this doesn't entirely prove it to be a hoax, all the evidence points to fraud and the alien research community has accepted the Reed video as a fake. So, for many years, people thought this was believable, okay? And um, Dr. Reed found an alien, found a UFO, did some autopsy on it, and happy ever ended, uh, happy ever after. Um, and then this um, fake or fact series reenacted it, okay? Now I'm going to put different music over this because it's got an epic tune, by the way. Um, if you're into skateboarding, it's uh, Rodney Mullen versus Day One Song, round one, and it's uh, Rodney Mullen's tune, and it's epic. Right, first of all, I have to do a massive shout out to Fact Not Faked channel, okay? Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe and do the thing, although he's not uploaded in like 
10 years, okay? <laughs> um, this is called Exposing the Lies of Fact or Faked, right? 2010, Hollywood versus the Real Thing from 1996, Dr. Reed Case. So the title says, this is exposing fact or faked, right? So look at this. The internet's peanut gallery from abovetopsecret.com say, he never had a dog. He couldn't have a, a dog because I heard he was allergic. Oh, really? There's his dog. And if you don't believe me, there he is with the dog. Notice the picture of Susie at his desk. Notice the picture of the dog on the wall of the desk and the badge he's wearing says UW for University of Washington Medical Center. In the original photo, oh, hang on, what was that? In the original photo is a calendar where you can see the, the date says December 1995. My red arrow is covering that uh, portion. Right. Can't really see that, but I can see the dog. A bit blurry. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can sort of see that. You can see December. I can't see. I mean, maybe he's got a better view of that. I find it odd that people think anyone uh, would give up a doctor's salary collection of cars, girlfriend, dog, and life to get hospitalized, threatened, friends murdered, and have people ridicule you as a hoax for over 14 years. There is no money in living your, uh, sorry, there is no money in living your life on the run and being called a liar. If it was a lie, you'd think after 14 years of being tortured, kidnapped, shot, threatened, harassed, friends murdered, etc., that you'd pick something new. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dr. Reed doesn't have the option of picking something else because this is reality of his life. So this is him messed up, is it? So this is him being attacked or whatever happened to him? Look, employment study, 1983 to 1996, uh, University of Washington, Seattle. U of W Medical Center, um, Psychology Department, Clinical Research at Neural Imaging, Cognitive Factor and Learning Disorder. There he is again. The Internet's peanut gallery from ufocasebook.com say he was never a doctor. He didn't even graduate college. Reed doesn't even know the difference between psychologist and psychi psychiatrist. Wrong again. Look, I mean, to be fair, you can just write that out, <laughs> okay? There he is! It might not be him. Dr. Reed isn't even the real name. Dr. Jonathan Bradley Rutter was known as Dr. Reed even before the incident in the woods in 1996. The name Reed was a family name that he even had engraved on his PhD graduation ring from 1980. What?! Look, Reed, 1980, Reed, L, B, L, B, P, e? D. Why didn't Dr. Reed stop for help? This is what they say. He did. And when no one was there, he drove home and called three friends who also didn't answer until the next morning. Dan McEvoy, McE e e standing next to the ranger station where Dr. Reed stopped the jeep on the way back from the trial to help. No one was at the station, so Dr. Reed left for home. Right. Uh, Dr. Reed never got shot. It's just Hollywood making it up. Or just Hollywood makeup. Well, well, I've personally seen him show his bullet wound scar to others. Really? The fact or fake... Here we go. The fact or fake show chose not to mention quite a few details.
Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the entrance wound and that's the exit wound. Jeez Louise. No one has died. Reed is lying. The proof says otherwise. The man on the left was Dr. Roger Haggart. The man on the right was Michael Weasel. We 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 Weasel. Weasels? Wessels? Both men worked at the University of Washington and were both going to uh, release the DNA analysis of the creature when both of them died under mysterious circumstances in the same week. That's weird, man. If that's true, that's weird. Because look, at the end of the day, I'm only reading out what he's putting up on the screen. However, when you've got pictures, and again, pictures could be anybody, but there's certain things that you can't fake on there, right? Especially on like, those types of pictures. Don't worry, we're going to get into the nitty gritty in a bit, all right? What's this? Columns in the University of Washington. Uh, Michael Wessels. Or, yeah, Wessels, a research chemist in the UW's Department of Environmental Health since 1988, died in August after falling from Mount Cristo Peak in the Mount Baker. Oh my God. Um, in I can't see that. Forest in the Northwest Washington. An outdoors enthusiast, he apparently fell to his death on the way down after scaling the summit. His research focused on contaminated superfund sites, as well as industrial hygiene contaminants. He was 42. There were never any evidence the body is just a puppet. Puppets don't bleed. You can't get blood samples, cranial fluid, and bone fragments from a puppet. People who have uh, difficulty dis discerning the information in front of their face won't consider something as evidence if it's beyond their comprehension. If someone has no context to reference what they see and they don't know it's possible, they won't consider what they see as proof. The evidence that will help one person realize the, the validity may not do a thing for another person. True. Who's this? Harold Chacon, who personally analyzed Freddy's blood and tissue samples. The creature was found to have 46 chromosomes as a normal human, but with nine of them resembling a dolphin or sea turtle. Oh my god, mate. Oh my god. Mate, today I saw a TikTok video. I don't know. I know, TikTok, right? But dolphins apparently can use telepathy, right? They've got a sonar and stuff, and so they can actually see what their mates see, right? And did you know that it's illegal to get close to a dolphin apart from when, when it's in like captivity? It's illegal to get close. And he was saying, this, this person on TikTok was saying, if like kids can learn their abilities of telepathy if they're like around dolphins for long enough. Oh my god. What? Uh, oh, what was that? Out of range? Listen to the witness testimonies of Dr. Reed's ba um, banker and co-worker. I'll put the link into the interviews in the description. I have the tr uh, transcription of the interviews if anyone wants them. Okay. Former bank loan officer of Dr. Reed's. Former nurse and co... The transponder sur uh, surgically... 
The transponder surgically removed from behind Dr. Reed's front tooth. After one of the times he was kidnapped, the school, the NSA, surgically implanted a device in Dr. Reed's mouth that activated when in the presence of cellular radiation. This means so someone was listening to his phone conversations via the device. How much about this case do you really know? Oh, what? Mate, maximum conspiracy theories, please! Jonathan Reed alien encounter. What was, it was, oh, the transponder? Let's go over some of the original 35 mil Nikon photos from 1996, and then we'll compare them to the mo the best Hollywood has to offer in 2010. Mate, look at this, look at this, man. Oh, okay. So this is the original, and this is what Hollywood can do, right? That's Hollywood's. That's Hollywood's. The following are comparisons of the original 1996 photos to the 2010 episode, Fact or Faked. Here we go. We're getting into the nitty gritty now, mate. Look. So, that's the Hollywood one. That's what he found, right? I think. Over $8,000 in parts, professional Hollywood makeup polyurethane molded skull with latex skin and remote controlled um, actuators actuator for the blinking eyes. It took 80 man hours over a period of a month to create the fact or faked dummy. This is the best Hollywood has to offer in 2010? It took 80 hours? So what he's trying to say is you think one man is going to create something like that to make it look like an alien, right? Is he gonna spend that much money, that much time and effort to do a hoax video? This is what he's trying to say. Uh, Gary, uh, Gig Larry, you, you lied to your audience when you said you made the alien. Let's go back and get his actual quote, shall we? Now that we're finished with the obelisk, I want to show you guys this alien creature that I made, that I made, that I made. Okay, you didn't create it, did you? Here's Larry lying to one of his fans on his Facebook page. He has since erased them all after he realized the implications of his lies do unto others larry karma bites back when you uh, when you led people astray through hollywood lies so larry is the guy on f or fact on faked let's compare dr reed's original house footage from 1996 to hollywood's best attempt So that's the original. Oh. 
Notice the guttural noises. I was going to say that! Coming from the creature as Dr. Reed turns the head. He also opens the mouth, unlike fact or faked. Oh my god, mate. Oh my god. To the original video, an experimental camera. So this is the fa fact or faked one. Come on, Ben. Former FBI agent, where are the guttural sounds of your puppet? Don't just put your fingers next to the eye. Open it up like Dr. Reed did. And it seems like the, ca uh, the creature in the original video is a bit heavier than your uh, duplicated dummy. Yeah, he's actually trying to open the eye up like that and... Compare the Reed eye glare in Dr. Reed's original photo to the fact or faked dummy. The cause of red eyes in photos. Um, oh, sorry. The, the the cause of red eyes in photos. Light from the camera's flash jets across the room, penetrates your eyes at an incredible rate, and causes your pupils to attempt to process the unexpected intrusion. The attempt fails, and the flash images, uh, sorry, mingles with the new num the numerous blood vessels of the eye and reflects off the retina and back through the vessels to the camera lens. Wow. Causing your eyes to look demonic. In other words, you can only get red eye phenomenon in the living organisms with lenses in the eyes. It takes real retinas to reflect the camera's flash. May. Let's just see the the red eye again on the photos. Oh, of course, of course. I, I've I've been used to seeing the left being the real one and the right being the fake one, but that the right one is the real one, and the left is the fact or faked version, the Hollywood version. Switch it around, confused me. Look, oh wow. See the wrinkles in Dr. Reed's original photos from 1996. Some people actually used to argue that Dr. Reed's creature was paper mache or wood. I never thought that, mate, because I even said in the video, even when the neck turns, the skin doesn't crease. It just, it moves with, like the skin moves with the, with the movement. Wooden dolls don't have wrinkles and paper mache uh, puppets don't have um, pliable eyelids with the, with retinas and blood vessels yeah look at the look, look at the veins I said that look at the veins and everything mate you can still hear it going <laughs> I gotta be honest, when I first saw this, I thought the thing was dead. I thought, you can't have an open wound like that and it being alive, right? I mean, 
Unless it's slowly, it's clearly slowly dying. But see, where he turns his head as well, right? It, like, it, it sort of moves back. It, he's trying to move it back. And naturally, it's trying to, you know, with the, with the tendons and muscles, trying to bring the head back round. So he's, he's doing that. And it's just, yeah. Whereas a puppet, you would think that if you move it, it's just going to stay there. Here are just a fraction of the original photos of the uh, uh, obelisk taken by... Uh, oh, right, okay, this is the UFO from Jonathan Reed in 1996. Jonathan Reed got a 360-degree view on video and 35 mil stills. The third, the three actors, hosts Ben, Jail, and uh, uh, Joel and Larry, didn't build the ob uh, obelisk either. They lied about that too. A professional special effects crew built it and spray painted it. They did that on site and spent seven hours constructing it. Alright guys, here are materials. We're gonna build an obelisk. We're gonna build an obelisk. Wait, let me run that through my double layer voice analysis. What software or program was used to determine their results? Who analyzed it? What are the credentials in professional analysis? Where is the rest of the analysis conversation? Would their process be a, uh, accepted in a court of law? How can they determine that all 14 years worth of evidence in fa is fake with a voice filters when they didn't even show 5% of the evidence? In order to say case closed, you have to prove to people beyond a reasonable doubt that all the available evidence has been subjected to um, scrutiny. Do you really think Dr. Reed would be considered guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in court of law using only the evidence collected by the show, um, fact or faked? Lol. Hell no. Would a court of law only look at 5% of case before convicting someone or determining their innocence? There's no one show that can fit all 14 years worth of evidence in their program. Compare Hollywood's best attempt to recreate Jonathan Re Reed's genuine footage. A plywood ob obelisk sloppily coated with black spray paint that reflects the sunlight uh, versus the original 1996 photographs where the ob obelisk seems to absorb the sunlight absorb the light yeah that's true right but i did say in the in the original video i, I said you can actually see it reflecting the sun like the sky if you look back at my original video and there's something on here as well. Let me just, uh, let me get further on and I'll tell you. But it does look totally different though, right? It does look totally different. The state of that. What's the matter, Larry? Can't seem to figure out a way to get a 360 degree view without showing the support beam? Dr. Reed got a 360 degree view both of moving video and still pictures and this is what I wanted to tell you mate. If you go back, if you haven't seen it already, I show video footage of him walking around the whole thing, right? So he's going up to it and you can see either side. So you'd think naturally, oh the pole holding it up is on the other side but he, he covers, he, he moves around, right? 
and he goes under it. He sees every single direction, 360, mate, like a bloody globe. He goes around this thing. There is not one support beam, right? Um, why didn't Fact or Fake try to duplicate any of the pictures or try to get more than just one angle? Not even a professional Hollywood crew could figure out how to get a 360 degree view without exposing support structure. Right, look, 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 look. In fact, I'm just going to quickly show you it. I'm going to show you it, right? I'm going to talk about this in a second, but watch. Okay, Ben. There it is. Right? Look no, at this. No support beam. Watch this. Under. Right, left. At the top. Now, I know if you had... Like, look at it. Look at the material of it, mate. It's... It's... It's reflecting the sky and everything around it. Oh! To be fair, Ben, is it really reflecting and everything around it? I saw, when I when I looked at it, when I said reflecting, I was talking now, about... Now, I know if this bit here, this looks like the sun, right? The sky, the clouds, watch. Look at it. Look at the material. See? All this shine of it, mate. It's... It's, but everything else isn't, right? Anyway, let's get back to this. Let's get back to this. Ah, uh, Ben, the former FBI agent from Paranormal Files, fact or fate. Um, now go look up term Cointel Pro. Cointel Pro, an acronym for counterintelligence program, was a series of convert, uh, sorry, covert and often illegal projects constructed by that United States Federal Bureau investigation FBI aimed at su su surveilling and infiltrating, uh, discrediting and dis disrupting I don't know what that says there. Demonic political organizations? I can't see that. It's so, so blurry. Council Pro tactics include discrediting targets through psychological warfare such as planting false reports in the media smearing through forged letters harassment wrongful imprisonment and extra uh, extra extra legal violence and the bad one wow uh, what else did Ben forget to mention? How about this? Don't uh, didn't have enough Hollywood man hours to duplicate the link artifact? Did you? The link artifact. Oh right, yeah. Huh? I don't, I don't get that. North and South got it wrong about. Is this, is this what the symbol means? What is that? What is this? Is this something that goes into the skin? These pins? Needles that goes into the skin? So is that saying north and is this a symbol for north and south? What's this? The program has been 
been replayed 14 times and 21 countries around the world. What were, what were we seeing there? Are we seeing it? It's not moving on its own, is it? Or like, what was that all about? Because he wrote a book as well called Link, apparently. How about the countless hours of audio recordings of the creature after it woke up at Dr. Reed's house? Just gonna sit there. It's okay. No, let's calm down. Calm down. I'm not gonna do anything. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's alright. It's alright. No. To be fair, it sounds like when I had a record player when I was a kid and I was like trying to mix. Like scratch. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay, no more. Okay, okay, no, no, I am not gonna hurt you anymore. I am not, I promise. I am not gonna hurt you. So how does he know what the alien's saying, right? It's making these noises, but is it sort of talking to his head? Mate, I'm going too deep into this, right? It, so it sounds like a little bunch of scratching. It's all right. Calm down. Oh, communication hurts? No, no. It's okay. You can go back in. Just, just it's whatever you, it's all right. All right. I'm just going to pick this up. Just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. It's okay. It's all right. I'm gonna go. All right. I'm gonna turn it off. All right. I won't. I'm just gonna walk over here. And I'm gonna go. Okay. Much more to come. This case is still ongoing. It never ended. People ha um, who haven't looked into the available information think the body was taken along with all the other evidence. That's just not true and goes to show people don't do their own homework. The creature has been seen over well over 100 times since the original incident in 1996. People are still be uh, being hospitalized and threatened. I encourage people to look into each bit of evidence for themselves. What? Been seen over 100 times. So the rest of it is a, a whole load of sentences going on about what people believe and, and, and take as proof and things like that. And But I will leave the original link in the description, mate. But like, wow. Wow. Holy moly. I mean, this could all be, again, a load of rubbish. Um, somebody that just fully believes in it and there could be explanations about all of this and to this could all be total conspiracy theories and things like that in one hand you've got it it could actually be real legit and the other hand it could be just totally somebody that wanted to make a quick buck with you know book sales and dedicated a lot of time and patience to create something believable what do you reckon mate i'm not saying it's real i'm not saying it's fake but it is really interesting. And thank you, John, mate, for sending me that email. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Um, it was different. Thank you so much, mate. Take care. Bye-bye.